Hello guys, it's NJL, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ninja star. And this can go either way as a single-sided or a double-sided ninja star, depending on how how you uh, how easy you want it to be. I would recommend doing the single-sided ninja star because it's quite it's not as complicated. And also, I know how to do it best, better than the double-sided ninja star, so I could help you out if you have any trouble. Um, but the double-sided ninja star will be in a different video coming out later. Anyway, this is video one for the Hunger Games week. Let's get started. So what you will need are, uh, if you want two colors in your ninja star, then you'll need two different color sheets of paper. If you just want it one color, then you can just use one sheet of what color you want. I'm using two colors to help you out if you are using two colors. And one piece of paper makes uh, two. And these together will make four ninja stars. So first what you need to do is fold your papers in half, hamburger style, make sure they're accurately half so that the edges meet up and it looks like a half sheet of paper. Fold it back along the same crease and keep folding it until you think you're ready. I like to rip, but if you don't want to rip, you can cut with scissors. But I would not recommend because it's hard to cut on a line with scissors. And then once you do that, you put one of your halves to the side. You can use that later on one of your other ones. And then you do the same thing with your second color if you have a second color. If it rips like this, like a little off, that is okay, just as long as it has a basic straight line. I'm going to put that one off to the side. Now you have two halves that make up a whole sheet, basically, if you put them together. You're going to fold these ones in half, but this time hot dog style. So it should be, should look like this. Now once again, fold it back and forth. And I like to start mine with a little tear at the top. If you're, but once again, if you're not good at ripping, then try scissors. After I ripped this one in half, I put the other piece on the side, and we're going to do the same thing with this. Okay. Now, once again, flip it inside up, and fold, repeat, rip, okay, 
Now you're left with these um, two pieces that make up a half but are separate. And now what you want to do is fold hot dog style again. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Okay. And we're not ripping these, so don't rip these yet. Do it to the other one. Okay. So now you got these two pieces. Now you're going to fold them in half. So they look like this. And then reopen them back up so it has a crease in the middle. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. So watch closely. So with your crease in the middle, fold one of your sides, whichever one, but make sure you pay attention which one, up along the center of the crease. Here's the crease where it bends, and you just fold your paper up along the crease like that. Now take the other one and do it the opposite way. So it's like this. Now for this one you're going to do the opposite, I believe. Yeah. You're going to do the opposite way. So, how this one folded up, this side is going to fold down. And then this side will fold 